going to show how to create a virtual directory in IIS. Virtual directories allow us to use the same website but just create a new forward slash and then folder name to add to it. So first thing we're going to want to do is create that folder. So we'll go ahead and go to our C drive then we're going to go to our INET pub folder and then from here we're going to do a new folder and call it virtual. Alright, now our website is actually in the test directory but our virtual is going to be here in the virtual directory so we'll create a new file default.html and we'll have to of course get rid of the text.txt alright so in IIS which you get to by going to start administrative tools and IIS manager we expand everything till we see the default website we right click and we say to add a virtual directory but before we do that we're going to want to see what the binding is what the name of the website is so we'll go ahead and click on bindings real quick and we see the name of our website is test.com so we'll right click and we will create add a virtual directory the alias we'll just call it virtual to match the name of our folder but it doesn't have to we will go to our inet pub and then virtual folder click OK and now we have our virtual directory so when you go to this website test.com to get to the default page you go test.com forward slash virtual and you should be able to hit that from the inside if there's an inside DNS name to that or from the outside if you have access to the website from the outside